when I say we finally got our rain caught up this week, we got a good three inches, if not more, this week. And that is more than we've had all summer, I think. Oh, so lucky. And just like that, the Kajari melon has started to change its color and ripen. So, Kajari is a slip melon, so I'm going to be checking to see when it slips from the stem, it's going to release itself. And I don't want it to fall down to the ground and split open, so I'm going to test it every day with a little jiggle. That way, hopefully, I'll get it before it hits the ground. I did something. I cured my own pork belly. And Ryan smoked it and made it into bacon. Mmm, good. Let me, wait, wait, can you flip that over? Let me see the other side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it tastes like bacon. Oh, it tastes like bacon. I made bacon. <laughs> uh, where'd it go? Y'all, the very next morning, I am looking for my melon. <laughs> and it's not here. Where... What? This is crazy. Nothing could have gotten in here. Oh! Oh, thank goodness. Hello! Hello! And you see, it slipped right off the vine where it disconnected. Oh, and it's not damaged. Oh, thank goodness. Hello there. I cannot wait to taste you. Oh, y'all. Oh, it smells so fragrant. Oh, I cannot wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, it smells so fragrant. Look at this snake gourd being growing all curly cute. Isn't that cute? They usually grow long and straight like this. <laughs> I need to harvest some snake gourd beans. They're growing like crazy. They're all in here. And they really do look like snakes. It's the coolest thing. I love them. Well, I guess the sweet potatoes decided they didn't want to stay in the compost anymore. They have gone about, I don't know, four feet away from the composted bed. And they're blooming. Hey, get out. I'm trying to show the bloom here. Blooming! Aren't they pretty? So, yes. Good job on the sweet potatoes, Rose. And then my green beans are blooming too. Yay! Might get some green beans after all, even though I just picked two and a half five-gallon buckets at the farm. Did you find a bean? Pick a bean! You found it. Good job, Odin. You're picking all the beans. I I know. What? Uh, yeah. You found one? Uh. Get it. Good job. Oh. <laughs> Found a pretty rock. If you decide to grow some uh, vining okra, make sure you pick it young and don't let it get carried away. This happened almost instantly. I had just looked at the plant and it had nothing but tiny ones. And now, those giant ones. So it's doing really good. I just cut off every fruit I could find and got a good amount. 
Gee, I wonder why they call it snake gourd bean. <laughs> this literally was coiled up on the ground with the top coming up. It looks just like a snake. This one's super cool looking too. Got a bunch of them. Got some wing beans, some peppers to make a relish, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the big guys because I don't know that they'll be very good. And I can't believe it that I actually need to pick squash again. I just picked all the squash. There's big squash all in here, but we're gonna be going to a friend's house Saturday, so I'll probably pick them for that. And the same with the eggplant. They're growing so fast now. Late summer eggplant. Look at how big that is. I just picked the squash and the eggplant a couple of days ago. As I've already got some eggplant and squash in the freezer, I think I'm gonna bring some to my friends. So I'm gonna leave them on the plant until Friday afternoon, or maybe Friday morning, or maybe Saturday morning. We're going over there Saturday for Labor Day dinner. So we'll see. But I think I'll just do what I have to do right now because I got another load to go in the canner of green beans. Then those will be done and then I gotta work on the relish and I'm simmering the tomatoes to make a sauce. And I'm just busy, busy, busy. So sorry that there haven't been as many videos, but I have just been nonstop harvesting and preserving. And I can't really pull out the camera when I'm doing all that. I get distracted easy. So I just have to keep working hard and get it done so that I can get back to filming. Uh, I, need, I really need to get out here and finish off this garden. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother killing it because this plant's coming out and he's almost to the size of pupation anyway. So he'll become a beautiful pollinator for the evening blooming mining okra and the evening blooming snake gourd. So I will allow it this time. So as soon as I get done with the preserving that I need to do today, hopefully I'll be able to get out here in the garden again and get things back under control because it's looking a little ratty right now. <laughs> but it won't for long. Pretty soon I'll have all the new fresh growth of the fall plant. Well, today is gonna be another busy day in the kitchen for me. I don't have a very big kitchen, so it's really hard for me to do any filming when I'm doing all of this stuff. But I just wanted to let you guys know that over the last seven days where I haven't had a video put up, it's because I've been extremely busy with all of the kitchen preparation that I have to do to get everything in the garden into some form of use before it goes bad. And I've kind of been a little overwhelmed and I'm tired, y'all. I'm so tired, I just wanna take a break, but I can't, I gotta push through the last harvest and get everything taken care of. So I've got a batch of relish that I'm doing today. And then that should be the last of the big push to get most of it done. And hopefully after that, I'll be able to film some videos and uh, get back to my regular scheduled program.